Good afternoon, this is Dr. Do again. This video is still on the problem of alphabetic list. We're on the B category. So today I'm going to talk a medical condition called a buried esophagus. It's a very medical terminology, like it's very medical-like. Um, before I talk to the disease called a buried esophagus, I just like to tell uh, tell you the warning signs about the esophagus, what kind of esophagus, uh, esophagus condition you need to see the emergency room. First of all, there is a uh, coughing or uh, vomiting up blood, either from long-term wrenching, feel nauseated, always wrenching, wrenching, and then you, you vomit and uh, vomit up with blood associated with the chest pain. So that means that the tearing or torn of the esophagus you need to see the emergency room to stop the bleeding the second uh, cause is very causes because of the portal vein hypertension uh, the veins in the esophagus is kind of uh, twisted and um, easily to get bleeding and you vomit it up blood so if for those people have long-term uh, um, alcohol drinking history and the liver problem, and your doctor told you you have the portal vein hypertension. And if uh, probably if you have this condition, your doctor already warned you if you vomited up blood, you need to go to the emergency room. So these are the two conditions that I can think of. Esophagus disease, uh, you need to go to the emergency. Um, what kind of problem you need to call your physician to uh, check it uh, check it out uh, like you feel um chest pain um uh, epigastric pain and for ongoing for a while or the chemicals you you drink too hot or uh something uh, very irritated irritable or uh, chemicals you accidentally swallowed that you need to go to the uh, uh, call your physician. Um, in terms of uh, manager at home, like heartburn, we all have it once in a while, occasionally, but if it's an ongoing process, still you need to see your physician instead of just the trying, trying, trying over counter medication without knowing what is going on. So now let's go talk to, let's talk to the uh, Barrette uh, esophagus. What is this? This first of all, let's talk about the the esophagus. Esophagus is like a tubing structure, um, uh, connect to the oral cavity to the stomach, right, above the diaphragm. And the esophagus is kind of the the wall is kind of thin, compared to the stomach and uh, the small intestine. Um, also the the movement the motion uh esophagus keep moving the the style of movement or uh, the peristalsis for the esophagus is different from the stomach and uh, small intestine for example stomach has three layers of smooth muscles so the function of stomach is grinding so just keep motions and move and ground grind the food to uh, digest uh, fill it with digest Small intestine, the movement of small intestine is segmental, so clamped up, down, and uh, there's uh, like a bolus in between and um, the peristalsis over there, so uh, uh, fitted with the absorption function. Esophagus, on the other hand, just going down one way, peristalsis just keep flowing downward, so the foot won't stop here. So that's one difference. The major difference between esophagus and stomach is the lining cells on the cavity. So for the esophagus, this, the, the epithelial cells, the lining cell layer, is just like our skin. It's a straightified um, uh, squamous cells, which is tough. On the other hand, the stomach lining and the small intestine, the lining cells are the columnar. It's like a, a tall, uh, triangle-shaped, something like this. So it's a not the, the tall rectangle shaped, it's a columnar, so it's like a column like. And the relatively compared to the, the squamous cells, like the straightified um, squamous cells is different. Okay, uh, so 
for the purpose for this different uh, epithelial cells because in case you drink something hot or um, irritate the sulfur can tolerate just like our skin pretty tough epithelial cells okay so what is the barrette uh, isophagus this this is a uh, pathological terminology which means in, in just um, uh, in medical term is metaplasia but just simple uh, simplify it just the, your normal esophagus lining cells turn um, turn uh, to the stomach okay so the the stomach cells lining up your esophagus the junction of the esophagus and the stomach instead of normal esophagus lining cells um, but turn to the stomach cells the significance for this pathological change is it is a precancerous. So, um, if you long going of this uh, uh, change, the lining cells can predispose the risk of cancer, esophagus cancer. So, what is the cause for this metaplasia or the the changing of the epithelial cells? First of all, reflux. The long term. Um, regurgitation of uh, stomach material back to the esophagus irritation and the uh, implant cells there so the transfer uh, transition zone is disappeared just become the uh, columnar cells instead of the uh, stratified, stratified squamous cells so normal from normal uh, esophagus cells to normal stomach cells this is very important if these cells lost the normal morphology, that is the cancer. The cancer means no or lost normal morphology, um, proliferated into uh, functional cells. That is cancer. But this uh, metaplasia, it doesn't mean you lost the normal um, cell morphology or function. It's just the wrong place. So that's the precancerous uh, uh, condition. So. Um, the other causes is like if you long term uh, drinking um, irritative, irritative or irritative chemicals like alcohol, smoking, those are all predisposing factors for this um, metaplasia, Borat esophagus. So how do you know it? Um, you really cannot feel anything unless, like I said, the reflux uh, on going. GERD, uh, gastric esophagus reflux uh, disease, and you do the regular test and uh, eventually find out the cells through the scope, take the sample, find it. So the take home message is uh, limiting those uh, risk factors, losing weight and uh, avoid food uh, before bedtime, especially avoid a large meal before bedtime, and also um, uh, limited alcohol smoking and uh, yearly physical, if you have this kind of, especially if you have this long-term ongoing problem, um, ear physical, and if you have any um, changing, uh, any um, changing new unusual symptoms, changing to the unusual symptoms, you need to let your physician know so that they will um, examine you and refer you to the a specialist to, to check it out to see whether you have this special um, subtle but a very dangerous condition called Borat esophagus. So that is the video for today and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.